When you see a woman with a child, it's just the most beautiful thing. He goes, exactly. you get men around there, they don't know what they're doing. And every single one of my, of my girlfriends that now has children says the same thing. That it's easier when the man just leaves the house because it's like they have another child, right? And, and, that's, not much. and that's beautiful. Ah, that was a tell. That was a tell. That was not a good tell. That, that right there, when, when she says stuff like that, that means that her friends run the relationships with their husband. What up, guys? Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel today, I am going to be reacting to Candace Owens destroying a male feminist. Let's go. Uh, I looked at some data while you were speaking about the uh, gender pay gap in the UK and the US. So apparently it's 17% in the UK and 19% in the, U in the US. No, it's not. And uh, it's WEF data. So yeah. I just it, looked it at that. So maybe maybe the gender World Economic Forum in 2015. Right. Uh, in so percentage. Ha happy to talk no, no. about this. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, this so is my like, question is basically, yeah. what do you think are the causes of this? It, it yeah. doesn't exist. Well, do no, you, it, it, there is a cause for it. I'll tell you what it is. And do you think there should be public measures to tackle it? And yeah, the causes and the public Fair question. So the, the pay gap is so over... I'm so tired of hearing about the pay gap. Women make equal money when we do equal work. Until we do equal work, we will not get equal money. Hey guys, have you taken a good look at the banks lately? On the surface, everything seems fine, but there's a whole lot more going on underneath. It's like looking under the hood of a car and finding a mess of broken wires and parts. The parts are loans for homes, cars, and those credit cards we all use. They're hitting record highs. It's kind of scary when you think about it, but why risk your money for a tiny 5% return when things are so shaky? That is where Noble Gold Investments can help. They're like that friend who knows all about keeping money safe. They suggest silver and gold, oldies but goodies in the finance world. Plus, they've got a sweet deal, a free quarter ounce gold standard gold coin this month if you qualify. Pretty cool, right? If you're curious, just give them a call at 877-646-5347. It's just a chat, no pressure. They'll help you figure out if gold and silver are right for you or visit noblegoldinvestments.com and take the first step towards a safe financial future. It all the time because obviously I'm like the anti-feminist. So people are always like, how can you deny the gender, uh, the, the wage gap? Okay, um, so uh, when I went to university, all of the girls that I was friends with were majoring in fashion and textiles and merchandising. Um, and they all went off to intern at Vogue. Um, and pick out Prada bags that maybe Kate Moss would wear on the cover of something. Um, the average pay for that, if you want to be in fashion when you get out of school, is $20,000. Men were majoring in business and engineering and, and things that when you get out of school, you get paid more. If our interests, if we're going to go in and we're not going to be taking serious majors, and we are just, we're shocked when we find out the world doesn't need, need more people to pick out Prada bags for Kate Moss's shoot, I mean, that's not a gender, that's not a gender wage gap. That's an interest gap, right? And, and that's what's happening. Happening. Also, women, we, we have different interests. Women aspire to get married, they aspire to have children. They leave the they they leave the workforce earlier. Every single one of my girlfriends, I'm not what I'm saying is that a person that is a brain surgeon should not get paid the same amount as a person that wants to pick out Prada bags for the rest of her life. I mean, this is what's going on in America. When you look at the that the of the wage gap, they're not telling you what the jobs actually are and what women are going into in terms of their majors in university. When you're taking feminist dance class 101, you're not gonna make six figures when you go out of university. That's just the Yes, 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 yes. Candace is absolutely right here. Women do easier jobs and pick easier majors and then cry about getting paid less. Go work on an oil rig. You can get paid a lot. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'll just stay on my YouTube. I'm good. Truth. And women, if there was a real feminist women movement, would talk about that, would say, hey, if you want to make as much as men, maybe we should be majoring in engineering and things like that. But we don't because we have different interests which is fine, but you then can't complain and think that we should now have a society that forces, what are we going to do? Are we going to have like a government that says now we have to pay women that want to go into fashion six figures to make them feel good and like they're doing things that are productive in society? Like we, that's, not, that's not a practical solution. If we want to get serious, if women want to make more than men, they do. It's actually been proven statistically so, in America that when they go into the same majors and take on the same jobs, women get paid more than men in those particular fields. So I'll, for Google, for example, I'm going to comment on this in a variety of different ways. Google, for example, did a pay equity audit uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> that was last week. And uh, Google said we must go after uh, gender-based wage discrimination. Turns out that uh, men were being significantly underpaid at Google, so they dished out $9 million in bonuses to men at Google. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Men tend to produce more than women in general. 
not all, not all. So there's some very high, highly productive women. You know, I think I'm one of them. But in general, men are just work a little smarter, work a little harder in general. In general, there are exceptions. But yeah. Women are being overpaid. Uh, a couple things. First of all, if you just lazily, as the, some of the studies that you reference, not you're being lazy, but the studies are lazy, extrapolate all the women and all the men at a certain age and don't take into account job, how long they've been in a job, what they studied, their experience prior, the gender wage gap in the states does exist. But if you take in women that study the same stuff as men and are in the workforce at the same time as men, they actually earn 106 cents of, of the dollar more, meaning six cents more than a man does mm -hmm. in the states. Candace Not made a brilliant surprised. point. In the states, if you look at the five majors that are the highest performing, performing majors, and the five majors that are five lowest performing majors. So roughly the five highest performing majors in the United States of America, petroleum engineering, business, finance, things of that nature. They're 80 to 90 percent more or less dominated by men. There's only one major that are dominated by women, a, a, a single out of, the, out of the five. If you look at the five worst performing, pre-K pre, pre uh, education, things of that nature, elementary school education, um, almost 80 to 90 percent dominated by women because they naturally will make different choices because they're We're biologically different. We're set just up biologically there. different. Couple, 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 really quick. Women are also. Can I just go back on that? Because I, I find it's a very interesting point you're making, the interest and the biologically. Yeah, it's back making, to by a and, Cambridge and, and, study. Can, that was can you just elaborate on this? Because the, uh, I, would, I would tend to disagree about the biologically part of the, There's for instance, woman, you say woman, way. you say the gender gap doesn't exist and that woman would be more inclined to do a fashion Degree sure. rather than a business yeah, degree. Well, and, women, are, uh, women and men are different, and yes. I, I'm going to say some things that you probably hate, uh, an expression you hate, but social construct. And well, no, no, we have evidence to this, though. Look at the Scandinavian countries. They tried to get rid of this. They actually allowed teenagers to choose which do you want to get into STEM fields or not. And the data actually showed that women naturally wanted to go towards, when they tried to make this, the society totally equitable and they try to get rid of these gender roles, women still, because of the biological predisposition towards nurturing, women... We, are, we naturally want to nurture. They go to nursing. You guys know what I think about this. You guys know... I don't have to say it. I don't believe it. I think we go towards them because they're easier. I think women just like to do the easy stuff. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Pearl's a bad guy. I don't think we're more nurturing. That is against that nurturing part. Women are not more inclined to yeah, be nurturing. 110% we are. We are. 100 and 10, I mean, Sweden sorry. is the example of it. You're just wrong. It's just true. It's just but, true. But based on what? What studies? Is a, it true based Cam on what? There was a study done by Cambridge scientists that demonstrated that men naturally revert to environments that require more structure, such as politics and the professions that he mentioned. Business and and women's And women naturally revert to professions such as teaching, which require more empathy and emotion. This is just a natural thing. It's important it's not to. It's yeah. It's important not to say that you know women should be forced into those roles, but you do have to accept you know that we naturally that do. We naturally and women. revert to them. It's just true. I've, I'm, I'm just. I'm just telling you. Like even if you said, I'm telling you, every single woman that I went to university with versus every single man, there's just a difference in terms of the majors that we're picking. And we're not forced to pick uh, certain majors. We just aren't forced to. So what you're seeing is the, is the, the results of people picking their different interests, right? And unfortunately, the other part of your question was, should we do something in society to even it out? We don't have to do anything in society to even it out. You, you, we, can I, can you, I ask you a question? More, 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 yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Do you think there's a biological difference between a man and a woman? I do believe, indeed, there's a okay. biological difference between... Yeah. See, these are what I call men with the minds of some women, not all women, some women, YouTube, because I mean, you can just tell it's like he, he he's taking and this is why people think that I I mean when I call guys simps, but I call them simps because it's like when I think of simps, I think of men with female, like female brains almost. And women. But when it comes to interests, I do more believe that. So let me ask you a follow up without mm -hmm. me to, you know, interrupt. Uh, rudely, but if we have biological differences, do I have more adrenaline? Do I have more testosterone than she does? I think yes, indeed. You, do you think might that testosterone, have more testosterone could drive you to do different interests and things. Well, I could indeed. Do you believe oh. that? Yeah. The thing is, so maybe a man might be more likely to do a weightlifter, serve in the army, be a police officer, a firefighter, and a woman who has more estrogen might want to be a nurturer, a preschool teacher. Do you see well, how biology? Uh, uh, I, uh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Another question: Do you think it's desirable for the society? This, this kind of, of course, this. I love of it. Course. Yeah, 
Absolutely. I, I love the yin and the yang. I think men and women are symbiotic. It's beautiful. It's biblical. And it's something that we should stop trying to actively work to force and destroy at, at a certain point. I love it. And I did a, I did a, John, I did a, po a podcast. I was interviewing John Voigt, who you guys might know. He's, he's Angelina Jolie's father. And he was mm -hmm. talking about this, this like biblical, beautiful thing that our society is currently trying to destroy. And he said, the, the thing that I see over and over again in my life, and it's nice because he's 80 years, he's 80 years old now. So they have that wisdom when they get old. And he said, women just know what to do when they have children. He's like, they just know. It's, it's so in I'm sorry, Candace. I just don't think you're right on this point because women know how to freaking kill their kids. Like there's no tomorrow. One out of three women's had an abortion. Women are the most likely ones to abuse children. If we have this natural nurture, I don't know. I don't know. I think I know everyone says, oh, I would only trust my kids with a woman. I would prefer a guy in pretty much everything. In general, not all, not all, not all. When you see a woman with a child, it's just the most beautiful thing. He goes, exactly. you get men around there, they don't know what they're doing. And every single one of my, of my girlfriends that now has children says the same thing. That it's easier when the man just leaves the house because it's like they have another child, right? And, and, that's, and that's beautiful. Ah, that was a tell. That was a tell. That was not a good tell. That, that right there, when, when she says stuff like that, that means that her friends run the relationships with their husband. I would say that's probably not uncommon in her circles, I, I would guess. And, and in feminists make you think that there's something wrong with that. Like, he, make him do this and do that. And it's like, yes, th there are certain things that we innately know how to do. And when I see a child, I instantly know how to take care of them. That's just something that's innate and it's biological. And maybe I don't. I know you don't have the data and the facts because they don't support what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> the data and the facts are described to you that I can prove that this is a thing, mm -mm. but it is, it just is a thing. And I don't know why society wants to destroy that or, or, or force it in a different way and make men the people that are innate and know what to do when they see children. There's something really beautiful and spiritual about that that should never be disrupted. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, guys, well, guys. Uh, uh. So I thought she was right in the first half of the debate. I thought she was wrong in the second half. I am a, of the unpopular opinion, and please don't paint this as the whole red pill thinks this, which is what I think. I don't think women are more nurturing than men. I think we're just really good at making ourselves look good. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you like the video on your way out, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you next time.